talk about something we mentioned on nonprofits yesterday I'll do this quick there's a guy who wrote me I have no idea if he's being sincere or not based on some of the emails that he sent I'm kind of convinced that he was sincere it's possible that I could be uh, being punked without realizing it but it doesn't matter because the, the particular claim is not that much more outlandish than anybody else's um, he seemed to think that he was like me because he needed proof that a god was real before he'd believe it uh, and uh, you're nothing like me I promise uh, but what he did is from the time that he was about 12 he asked God every time he sat down to dinner if he would move a spoon from here to here um, and nothing happened for like four years he did this and then he decided to go to church because he had the hots for some girl. This, this sounds like a bad joke. Uh, it does, <laughs> but I, it's only fair if I have to put up with email like this that everybody else gets to share. Okay. You're going to share those. So he goes to church. He decides to give Christianity a chance. And from that point on, he's currently studying to be a minister. From that point on, at three separate occasions in his life, God has turned a spoon into a fork in front of his eyes. Now, I hope it didn't happen while he was eating hot soup or something, because that could be really inconvenient. However, uh, to demonstrate just how unclosed minded I am, <laughs> which was a word that was sent to me in email this week, which is why I used it, uh, I have a spoon. Um, this spoon will be, I'll carry it to the show, I'll carry it around with me. It's marked so that I know it can't be swapped, but. I would like every believer, especially that individual who managed to have this miracle performed for him three times, uh, every believer out there who thinks that God could possibly turn a spoon into a fork, you should be praying and asking God to turn this spoon into a fork. And, I think the girlfriend did it. And if this spoon <laughs> turns into a fork while it's in my presence, before my very eyes, just as he said, I will come on the atheist experience, tell everybody about it, and confess that I have a true miracle and here's the spoon and I'll leave it sit here during the show uh, where I can see it and where it's not going to get away from me <laughs> if it happens during the show we'll be able to announce it during this show but let's go on to Dan are you also in Eugene yes I am what the hell's up with people from Eugene man they're hippies okay. they're really 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 high and okay good for you guys <laughs> well since yeah. since you're in eugene um by the way i'm gonna go to that place yes i'm gonna bring my camera and could you, you report a back to report us? yeah i absolutely will i'll report back to you guys next week i'll post a video of it on youtube that'd be way cool and uh, yeah thanks dan what do you got for us uh well before i say what i want to say I, I was gonna say i think that that guy that with the spoon fork with the spork if you will that uh, he should talk to, uh, what was his name, James Randi. He'd get a million dollars if he could do it in front of somebody. Right. It's, I mean, why would you turn down that kind of money? Yeah. Bend bending spoons, for those in the audience that don't know, is kind of a, uh, a, a big cultural thing within atheism and within uh, the kind of crackpots that, that want to practice uh, mentalism. And, and uh, look up Yuri Geller. That would, be, yeah. that would be the thing to do. And, or, or not, or not. He doesn't need that much yeah, publicity either. And I start to cry each time we meet. Walk on. 